Hi, this is Jay Balakrishna. In this video, you are going to learn how actions are done to me. How actions are done to me. How something happens to me. Take this sentence. I am encouraged. This is a subject. First person, singular. And this is called verb in English grammar or you can call it a technical word. These two people come together. It goes only with I and it indicates present sentence. Now see these sentences. I am encouraged. I am discouraged. I am guided. I am motivated. I am supported. I am misguided. I am loved. I am liked. And it goes on and on and on. Encouraged, discouraged, guided, motivated, supported, misguided, loved, liked. You can add a few more. Hated or sponsored. All these are called in English grammar verbs. We call them action verbs. And they are in past participle format. They are in past participle format. What do you mean by past participle format? Take the case of speak. This is called base form. It can also be used like this speaks. This is called S form. This is spoke, past form. Now this is spoken. We are interested in this part. This is called spoken. This is called past participle. All these are past participle forms of the verb. Then we have the last one called ing form speaking. Speak, speaks, spoke, spoken, speaking. This is called base form of the verb. This is S form of the verb. This is past form of the verb. This is past participle form of the verb. This is ing form of the verb. In this video, I am not going to confuse you by talking about all these people. We are bothered only about this person called past participle. This is one of the five forms of an action verb. Now here what is happening you try to understand. I am encouraged. All these are the actions which are not done by me. Remember, which are not done by me but by somebody else. Let us say I am encouraged by my father. Meaning, my father is encouraging me. My father encourages me. I am not doing any action. So actions are done to me. Something happens to me. I am encouraged by my father. I am discouraged by my friends. I am guided by my teachers. I am motivated by the teacher. I am supported by my followers. I am misguided by some people. I am loved by my mother. I am liked by my students. I am hated by some people. I am sponsored by my parents. If you want, if you are interested, you can add. Otherwise, you can just ignore it. We call it by plus doer. Why do we use the word doer? Because this is done by this person. I am encouraged by my father. Father is the doer. I am discouraged by my friends. My friends are the doers. So here what is happening? I am not the doer. I am not doing any action. The actions are done by others to me. I repeat, take a subject called I. Put the verb am because it goes with I and it indicates present tense. In this video, we are concentrating only on the present tense. And collect as many past participle forms of the verbs and make sentences with them. And in grammar, this is called passive voice. Now at the end of the video, I am using the term passive voice. I haven't used it so far because you should not be terminology conscious. The purpose of these sentences is you are not the doer, you are not doing any action, others are doing actions to you 
and you are just a receiver that way you can make the sentences and again every sentence can be used in four different ways i am encouraged i am not encouraged am i encouraged am i not encouraged i am discouraged by some teachers i am not discouraged by some teachers am i discouraged by some teachers am i not discouraged by some teachers i am guided by the teachers i am not guided by the teachers am i guided by the teachers am i not guided by the teachers i am motivated i am not motivated am i motivated am i not motivated there is one advantage of learning this type of sentences for your personal reasons if you do not want to disclose the name of the doer you can just keep the full stop here and make the sentence i am encouraged i need not say who is encouraging who is this doer i need not say i am discouraged i do not want to disclose the name of the person who discourages me i can simply say i am discouraged i am guided i am motivated i am supported i am misguided then at the same time try to practice it in four different ways and grammar calls it passive voice simple present it is not important to know the terminology that's why we are using it at the end of the video your job is to make sentences i repeat take a subject take am take past participle forms of the verbs which can be used for human beings which can be used for people and make large number of sentences and again practice four variations thanks for watching this video this is jay balakrishna